I'm surrounded by cats. Every time I try and vlog, hello, someone comes to see me. Say hello. Today is gonna be a good day because I'm off to my art supplier to buy lots of art materials. I'm really, really excited. It's the first time I'm going in about six months. I've ordered some stuff online um, during that time, but there's just some supplies that I have to physically go and get. So I'm gonna take you along with me and film today, um, do things a bit differently to normal. It's very difficult vlogging with this one, trying to eat your fingers. First of all, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and then I'll be off. Let's go. Right after that musical montage, I am here. I have lots of bags with me, just in case. They might not have what I'm after, but um, I'm going in anyway. Someone's just walking in front of my camera. The plan is to buy lots of canvases if possible, um, and some paint. I've got everything I need. Let's go. was fun. I've just come out and I didn't get everything I wanted but I got a lot of stuff. Um, we ended up putting a lot of my stuff in a box. I'm now going to go and meet up with my mum so when I go home later on this evening I will sit and talk about this stuff. Hello. I love spinny chairs. I think this is the first time I've vlogged in this specific location from this angle with this lighting so you might be quite confused right now. I'm currently in the art studio. At some point, I promise I will do a tour. It's a bit messy right now. It's been messy for a while. It's always messy. Art is messy. Now I have two fully functioning softboxes. Um, I can vlog anywhere and not have to worry about light. Um, so it's quite nice to vlog somewhere else. Anyway, let's talk about the stuff I got. First of all, I bought this, a massive box. There's nothing that special about this box, um, but this company in particular, I already have several of these boxes, so they all stack together well. Um, this is what I'm currently using another one for. This is not their purpose, they're supposed to have lids on them. Um, gosh, this is heavy. As you can see, I love acrylic paint. A lot. I do get through quite a bit. So let's get on to paint. This is the brand of acrylic paint that I've been using for about a year and I've gotten used to how it works so I'm, I'm too nervous to change brands. So I bought the following colours. I get through so much of these two colours, I'm always buying these. Um, this is the one I'm currently using and I'd say that's my third. Um, I'm sure I've got through about six of these this year. So it's always good to have a backup. I got Mixing White and Titanium White and in my opinion they do do different things. I'm still learning which paint creates pigmented markings on top of other paints. Um, darker colours on top of lighter colours, that makes sense, but white I always struggle with, um, especially with things like stars. But again, I get through so much white, so to have more, I can relax now. I've almost finished that one, so it was about time. Now as you saw, this company do a wide range of colours, but the one colour they don't tend to have is a light 
pink. Now I know you can mix colours together, but when it comes to certain paintings and styles and gradients etc, I personally find light pink a very hard colour to get. Especially when you're blending it with other colours, like going from black to pink. I always end up creating a purple or mauve, mauve colour. Um, so anyway, I found this. Um, I've never bought this type of acrylic before. I think it's from, yeah, it's from Hobbycraft. Yeah, I always tend to mix those two together, but I can never get a colour in the middle like that. Not for large surface areas, anyway. It is exactly the colour I sometimes need to create, so we shall see how that goes. The next things I got were these. Um, now, these I store my prints in, like this. Here's one I have earlier. Haha, -ha, like Blue Peter. Um, but they're just the right size, and they're tidy, they're neat, and they protect them. I have all these shelves in my middle wardrobe where I store all of these. And over Christmas, I created more prints, so I needed more boxes. They only had two. If they had more, I would have bought more than two. Now the next thing is canvases. Now the reason why I go to the store to buy these specifically is a couple of months ago I ordered about, I don't know, 20 of them online and half of them had bad backs. Um, so the canvases were slanted and I had to send them all back. Um, so when I go to the store I check every single one now that they're okay. Especially when you're buying canvases to sell to other people, you want them to be the best that they can be. You don't want to give them, you know, rubbish canvases. So today I got this lot. There's a few more on the floor, I can't hold them all. Um, but we've got 10 by 10s and 10 by 15s. Although I'm trying to create bigger paintings, um, the smaller ones for now are the easiest to post. And I've got a whole system with the sizes and the shapes, uh, with box cutouts and stuff like that. I'm not ready to post bigger canvases, so I'm sticking to what I know I can do at the moment. As you can see, when I paint, I get through a lot. So this isn't really that much, not for me but it'll get me through another two weeks or so. I got some bigger square ones, 15 by 15, and some of those. And the last things I got were brushes. So the type of brush I love is the Short Flat by System 3. Um, as I said, I get through so many of these, it's infuriating. Um, so I feel like I'm constantly buying them every couple of months or so. Um, apparently it's because it's acrylic paint. Other types of paint aren't as harsh on the brushes. These two are still usable, so I'm going to continue using these for now, but now I have a backup. Again, I can relax. Then I got a pack of these, because um, it worked out cheaper, which was good, and I needed some smaller, thinner brushes. And then these, these are brilliant, and they're very cost-effective, which is good. So that was everything I bought, I think. Oh, I also bought a massive canvas like this. Um, I have an idea. Ow. And it was an offer, so... I really have enjoyed putting this video together for you today, and I hope that enjoyment has come across a bit better. I am now going to stop swinging on my chair, um, integrate all this new stuff into the art room, and I shall see you soon. Bye bye everyone.